Friday, October 1st, Session 1, Dr. Harleen Quinzel with inmate 1018273, John Doe, a.k.a. The Joker. Good morning, Mr. Doe. I hate it when they call me that. I'm sorry, but I will refer to you by that other name. That would be irresponsible and unprofessional. I know. But it doesn't change the fact that I don't like it. Well, if you're willing to disclose to me your real name, then calling you John Doe would just be rude. Now, wouldn't it? How about I meet you halfway? Just call me Jay. That way, everyone's happy. All right. Mr. J. You know, you don't look like any of the other limp wrists Arkham's been throwing at me. Have I been a good boy or something? I'm fairly new to this hospital and uh, don't get any ideas. I have a panic button under the table. Shall we begin? How did you sleep last night? I can't complain. Did you have any dreams? Mm-hmm. I, uh... Dreamt that I found the cure for AIDS. Is that right? Well, that's positive. What was the cure? More AIDS. And you see, um, when you combine a negative with a negative, the outcome can only be positive. Did you know that several lions in the Congo tested positive for the AIDS virus? I find this fascinating. Quite possibly, the deadliest animal on the planet is now a carrier for the deadliest disease known to man. But, this proposes an even more fascinating question. Which is? Who the hell gave Lion the AIDS? <sighs> Mr. J, I find that sort of humor offensive. Was well, something I said? I didn't like what you were implying. It was a serious question. Mr. J, why do you deem it necessary to push my buttons? Chalk it up to a self-defense mechanism. What is it that makes you feel you have to be defensive? No. I am feeling a little out of my element here. Your makeup. Women wear makeup, my dear. Face paint, then. I prefer war paint. War paint implies you're going into battle. What are you battling? Well, you're quite the snake charmer, aren't you? I don't follow. Don't play stupid with me, okay? You're not. You're better than that, I can tell. You want to know what your problem is? You're scared. But not of me. I like that. We're not here to talk about me. Of course. We're here to talk about me. Everyone wants to know about me, like I'm the missing link. The Rosetta Stone for paranoid face-painting psychopaths. But I want to talk about you. You see, you're absolutely terrified of yourself. Is that so? What makes you say that? You got a degree in criminal psychology. You spent 15 plus years reading up on uh, serial killers and rapists, uh, arsonists and pedophiles, and, and then you land the whopper of all patients. Me. Now, from the looks of you, soft-spoken and timid, but I can sense that there's something else behind those spectacles. This isn't a profession that someone chooses to get into. It's more often than not chosen for you, but uh, not by mommy and daddy. By something else. Something deep in the shadows of the mind. Now, these people come to a crossroads at some point, and they can either choose to accept and embrace it like me. What are you getting at? Or they can choose to try and understand it like you. I think that's about all the time we have for today. Mm. 
Friday, October 15th, session three, Dr. Harleen Quinzel with inmate 1018273, John Doe, AKA the Joker, AKA Mr. J. Good morning, Mr. J. Hi. So, how did you sleep? Just peachy. You know, call me crazy, but there's something different about you this week. You look radiant. I'm listening. You are never going to open up to me like you are now. Criminal minds like yours aren't receptive to being stripped of their personas. What are you getting at? I have my diploma, and you have this. I will make sure to bring that to every one of our therapy sessions, under the condition that you take things more seriously between us. If you wanted to go steady, you should have just said so. Just joking. My life is an open book. Ask away. What was it that drew you to the persona of the Joker? You know, sometimes even I don't know the answer to that. I guess you could say I just wanted to stand out. What about the scars? Self-inflicted or a source of an attack? Yes. Which? Little column A, little column B, next question. What is your name? No, you don't just do that, okay? You can't just give me a bone and then beat me over the head with it. I'm disappointed in you. Why do you say that? Baby steps, okay? Baby steps. You know what, let's just set up some initial parameters, all right? Who and how off limits? Why, what, when, and where, sure. You said you were... were disappointed in me. Why? No. You started to think. Not too many people in the city do that anymore. And then, you hit me with a Psych 101 crap. Don't talk to me like a shrink. You want to know me, understand how I tick, I'll tell you. I'm playing on a level that only a select few can even begin to comprehend. My logic is seamless. Like I told the Batman, I'm ahead of the curve. Uncorrupted by this abysmal lab experiment they call life. And you and I, we're reading the same book. The only difference is that uh, I'm much out her head. But don't worry, I'll catch up. Friday, October 29th, session five. Dr. Harleen Quinzel with inmates 1018273. John Doe, AKA the Joker, AKA Mr. J. Good morning, Mr. J. Good morning, my dear. You know, I've been meaning to ask you, Dr. Harleen Quinzel, there's so many syllables. Do you mind if we call you something shorter? Harley, perhaps. Like the motorcycle? Like the Harlequin. Colorfully painted on the outside, yet beautifully complex on the inside. Well, I don't see why not. Actually, I used to have a Harlequin doll when I was a little girl. See? It suits you. I'm the odds of that. So, what compelled you to give me a nickname? Seem befitting. It is our fifth week. 
Have we been going out that long? I should have brought flowers. Mm. That wouldn't be necessary. Aren't you going to ask me how I slept? How did you sleep? Not too well, actually. Why is that? Well, it's very hard to sleep when uh, you're looking forward to something. What are you looking forward to? You, of course. Really? Is that so? Are you kidding? It's like a sausage fest in here. <laughs> Mr. J. Aside from the obvious and despite the efforts of corporal punishment, I find it uh, pleasantly ironic that a guy in my position still manages to see someone of your stature on a regular basis. Well, I don't think I can be your doctor anymore. What? Unfortunately, I feel like our sessions are starting to conflict with your rehabilitation. I think it would be best if I remand you to Dr. David Thurman. You breaking up with me? No, Mr. J. I'm simply doing what I think is best for you and best for the both of us. So that's what this is about. Too scared to ride the Harley, so you're just gonna run and hide like everyone else. What's it gonna take to make you realize that you're not like everyone else out there? They're never gonna understand you like I can. They're never gonna understand me like you do. You need me. Say it. No, I don't need you. Right, stop lying to yourself. Come on, say it. I can't. No, I don't need you. Say it, Harley. Say it. Sit down or I'll call security. Say it. Say it, Harley. Say it. Say it, Harley. Stop calling me that! Is everything all right in there? My Dr. Quinzel, is everything all right in there? Yes. Everything's fine. I'm sorry, my knee hit the panic button by accident. All right. That's my girl. Now. How about you and I take a little Halloween vacation together? I have the, uh, Perfect costume picked out for you. Anything you say.